I don't know who said Wonder Bread or whichever one of them, but they're wrong. I didn't know the video was infamous at this time, but we're gonna make real cheap. Some of the things that Gordon Ramsay apparently can't figure out include cheap, grilled cheese, and Asian cuisine. And I aim to fix one of those mistakes that happened. What do you want to know from me? Ask me. Well, uh, uh, how is it? Hmm? Oh no, look at that face. This is not pad thai at all. Grilled cheese. This is not the bread you should use for this. But I bought it anyway because I'm gonna show you an amazing way to make grilled cheese. I got a four cheese loaf of bread here. Yes, I bought it. Write about it in the comments, I don't care. And then I just got one little dinner roll, essentially for bread that's got some poppy seeds. It tastes good. Now I know a certain somebody named Charlie may have mentioned about using Wonder Bread. No, don't use sugar bread, it's bad. Use something good, go to your store. I mean, what, what's the point of having bakers if you don't use them? I ain't a baker. I don't make, I don't bake the food. I don't do the baking of the, the breads anymore. So I go to somebody who does and knows how to do it well. So they can tell me all about the science of bread making over there. I make, I just buy it. So one of the biggest travesties that happened in this infamous video is using the right kinds of cheeses the wrong kind of way. And I'm confused how the Michelin star chef and the amateur home kitchen cooker can't figure out how to do grilled cheese right. So in the spirit of mimicking exactly what they did, I got Asia and Romano. It blew my mind to watch somebody fail grilled cheese multiple steps along the way. So we're gonna clean up Gordon Ramsay's attempt and make it better and then we're gonna do my attempt at a grilled cheese. Change your life for the better. So in the video he uses a nice bread, he uses a sourdough it looks like, maybe a bit of a rye, I couldn't exactly tell, kimchi, and then he uses Asiago and pepperberry infused Romano or something like that. Oh, all of these cheeses are really good, but he really just didn't know how to do the execution. So I'm gonna show you the proper execution, starting off with the kimchi. You think he would know that kimchi is salty as fuck. And if you're gonna use Asiago and Romano as your other two cheeses in a bread with a fuckload of olive oil, maybe reduce the salt a little bit. So we're gonna fix it for him. If you haven't seen the Gordon Ramsay video, check out in the description down below. It'll be linked somewhere if you wanna watch that abomination. But we're gonna start off correcting the first mistake. Heat your kimchi. Well, it's, it's cabbage. Cook it up a little bit here. Well, that's heating, just start slicing up your bread. I'm gonna do something slightly different than the recipe. You can do it whatever way you want. I'm not your fucking pear. Now take your bread and slice it, but I'm gonna do a slight twist on mine so that I could do this in a way that you could make these into dippable sandwiches, preferably in tomato soup. I can't wait to hear the comments of people going, why aren't you using a serrated knife? Serrated knives are better. You're cutting bread? You're cutting bread without a serrated knife? Look at that. Clean slices. There's not even, there's not even like little bits of crumb. There's like four bits of crumb that came off of these. Serrated knives are not mandatory. Get a sharp knife. So now we've got our bread slices. Everyone seems to fuck up at this step. So this is the key pivotal moment here. You take your bread and you line the inside of the bread with a fat. That could be butter, could be mayonnaise, and even avocado. Any one of these three is going to be a very good inner sandwich lining. I personally recommend the avocado if you got a nice ripe one. If not, go to mayonnaise, maybe a hand, don't use some store-bought shit. But for the most part, this is probably gonna give you the most bang for your buck. Now don't over administer your fat to the bread in this part of the thing. Based on what we saw in the video, you're gonna get plenty of fats from the oil used in the pan. When you're doing the interior of the sandwich, you just wanna go for a thin layer because all you're doing when you add in the fat to the bread is you're creating a moisture barrier. So this way it keeps the cheese on the inside, keeping a little bit more of that moisture so it melts a bit more evenly. So you don't wanna go heavy on your inside. You wanna go, or you wanna go really light on your inside. You wanna go heavier on the outside because the inside needs to retain moisture. Tiny little bit amount just going for the thinnest layer on the interior that you can like it should barely look like there's even a fat on there the other side same thing very very little application you are just trying to create a moisture shield now we have a gripe to settle right now with these cheeses i have two kinds of cheeses here it's quite obvious i've got the asiago and i've got the romano you'll notice something these are bricks they were bricks why were they bricks because they're better. Stop buying shitty pre-grated cheeses. What the fucking god, if I see you buying another pre-grated cheese, I will come to your house. Shut the 
the fuck? Don't, th just don't buy them anymore. They fill them with crappy salt, crappy enzymes. They use potato starch as a filler. They try to make them as shelf stable as possible. Like cheese cannot be pre-graded without having some level of stabilizer. So buy them in bricks. Hell, buy them in little triangles. Like just don't, don't buy them unless you absolutely need a pre-graded cheese. It's insanity to me that anybody would waste their time with that filler crap. I am so legitimately done with anybody who uses pre-grated cheese. Shame on you, Charlie. Shame. We got butter. Now I'm going to do heavier on the Asiago than I am on the Romano because I think that the Romano is going to be way more overwhelming. So we're going to do a balance between that and the kimchi. More Asiago than Romano, but that's what I'm looking for. Now we add our kimchi. I'm gonna stick predominantly to the thinner pieces. You can do what you want, but I don't want my shit being too chewy. And then we're just throwing this thing in the fucking, the pan, or should I say the deep fryer? How did Gordon Ramsay think that was a good video? How did he sit there and go, you know what this grilled cheese, which is just fat and protein, you know what it really needs? More fat. We didn't use enough butter on the bread. We didn't use enough fat in the cheese. We really need more olive oil. So now add in your bit of olive oil, as, as the Brits say. I don't, I don't like using this, but I will say the one thing that fucking Gordon Ramsay got right, olive oil with the Romano is gonna be a lot better of a balance. That's my only takeaway from it. You get a lot of wine flavors from the Romano, but realistically, eh, just use butter. Just use, just use a reasonable amount of oil. Don't deep fry your grilled fucking cheese. You can tell he's a chef when he uses so much ungodly amount of butter or olive oil that no healthy person would sanely eat that. Cause it's like, you just added a thousand calories of olive oil to something that didn't need it. Hot tip for lads like Charlie. Get a lid. Let's take our little baby here. Fish him in. Because I think that the Romano is going to be way more overwhelming. So we're going to do a balance between that and the kimchi. More Asiago than Romano, but that's what I'm looking for. Now we add our kimchi. I'm going to stick predominantly to the thinner pieces. You can do what you want, but I don't want my shit being too chewy. And then we're just throwing this thing in the fucking, the pan, or should I say the deep fryer? How did Gordon Ramsay think that was a good video? How did he sit there and go, you know what this grilled cheese, which is just fat and protein, you know what it really needs? More fat. We didn't use enough butter on the bread. We didn't use enough fat in the cheese. We really need more olive oil. So now add in your bit of olive oil, as, as the Brits say. Olive oil. I don't, I don't like using this, but I will say the one thing that fucking Gordon Ramsay got right, olive oil with the Romano is gonna be a lot better of a balance. That's my only takeaway from it. You get a lot of wine flavors from the Romano, but realistically, eh, just use butter. Just use just use a reasonable amount of oil. Don't deep fry your grilled fucking cheese. You can tell he's a chef when he uses so much ungodly amount of butter or olive oil that no healthy person would sanely eat that because it's like you just added a thousand calories of olive oil to something that didn't need it. Hot tip for lads like Charlie. Let's get a lid. Let's take our little baby here. Fish him in. Now, here comes the trick. Once you flip your grilled cheese, you got a nice golden brown. Put it down. It solved the world's problems. Use a lid. A lid is simplicity. A lid retains the moisture and helps melt the cheese. Good God, people, use a lid. Give it another flip. Yes. Now all we're doing is letting this sit for another minute, get the other side a little crispier, and then you can serve. Are you ready, Jocelyn? Yeah, it's funny, I just finished my chapter in my book. Let me rephrase that. I'm making you Gordon Ramsay's Delicious grilled cheese sandwich. This thing's gonna fucking suck compared to what I'm gonna feed you. You're gonna eat what I make and you're gonna be like, why does Gordon Ramsay have a Michelin star? Give it to you. Uh, okay. Cross section. Yes. 
Yeah! Here you go! Enjoy your grilled cheese and tomato soup! Do I get to eat it? Yeah, let's try this abomination that Gordon Ramsay made us make. Alright. Hmm. I mean... I don't necessarily have a problem with it. I mean, ultimately, I did fix the recipe a little bit compared to how he fucking did it, but... No. I mean, maybe if you loosened up a bit on the, the spiciness of the kimchi, then maybe it'd be better, but I'm just like, mm, no. Yeah. Now, now here's the thing. If I took off the kimchi, I just had a bite without any on it. It's not bad. It's probably got about its 15,000 calories in it, but it ain't bad. And I'm actually kind of surprised at how good the olive oil does at keeping the flavor of the cheese, like, like amped up even more. You don't feel like it's overwhelming. It's actually just making the, the cheese flavor a lot better. But who cares about that shit? I'm going to make better fucking grilled cheese now. Thank you, Jocelyn. What would you rate that out of 10, with 10 being the lowest? All right. Go to five out of 10. Damn. All right. So my goal is to beat five out of 10. We can do a normal rating scale when we rate yours. A scale of one to 10, you chose a five, which is average. Yeah. And then you say, oh, if only we had a better rating scale than one in 10. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Get out of my kitchen. Fine. Women, am I right? They don't belong in the kitchen. The men do.